Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I am Sasha. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you are new here. Today I am doing a flexi rod set. This is my second time doing this. When I first did it, it came out so well. I was like, I need to share this with you guys. So this is what we're doing today. Um, initially, I was confused as to what exactly to do with my hair, but the idea occurred to me to flex the rod set, so here we are. For my rod set, I'm using three sizes of rods, and um, that really depends on the length of your hair, the thickness of your hair, and for me specifically, I have long areas and short areas, so I'm using the longer rods. For the longer parts of my hair and the shorter rods for the front where my hair is a bit shorter so um before starting this style i did go in to moisturize and seal using my aloe vera treatments i will link those treatments here for you guys if you are interested in checking that out this month um the month of august i am on an aloe vera moisture treatment challenge so i am um, going real hard on the aloe, <laughs> hoping for great results. In any case, um, I digress. <laughs> so for this flexi rod set, I am using only a bit of um, leave-in conditioner just to hydrate my hair to keep it moist for the set, and a bit of foam wrap lotion. That is all, no gel, nothing that can cause flakes or frosting. So um, yeah, I'm about to show you in detail how I do my rod set. So let's wait for this next one and I'm going to explain exactly what I'm doing. As I part my hair, I am mindful that the parting doesn't have to be perfect because once the curls are fluffed out, you really won't see it. So it doesn't matter. Then I'm going in with my moisture mix and the aim here is to moisten my hair and not drench it. The more wet your hair is, the longer it will take to dry and so the longer the curls take to set. So if you are in a hurry, be mindful of that fact. Then I'm using a little bit of the foam wrap um, to set the curls. I love this foam wrap because it does a job without leaving your hair hard and crusty. As I begin to roll, I am leaving about um, one quarter of the length of the rod exposed and beginning to wrap from there. Also, I am making sure that my ends are lying flat against the rod. As I begin to roll, I am stretching my hair out and so I am rolling, but trying not to cause too much of an overlap of my hair against my hair. That way, when I remove the rod, there is a bit of a more loose curl. Let's do this again. So first, I'm going in with my moisture mix to dampen my hair, not to drench it. Then I'm adding a little bit of the foam wrap. I have already detangled. Right now, I am smoothing my hair with the smaller tooth comb. Then I'm leaving a little bit of the rod um, exposed and beginning to wrap from there. And as I'm rolling my hair onto the rod, I am stretching my hair out. That way I am not wrapping my hair onto my hair. So I'm following that same technique throughout my hair until I'm completely done. Um, I am trying to create a large sections um, because I find that that is what worked really well for me the last time. And you would be surprised how much body you get from using large sections. So you do not need to separate your hair into very small sections because I find that these large sections still give you a lot of body. So you will see during the takedown and the fluffing stage how much body I can create even though I use the large sections for my rod set. So this style really is um, awesome in terms of saving you time and energy if you're tired and you're going to bed but you know that you need a bang hairstyle for the next day this is something that um, takes very little effort to do um, it's easy to sleep on because the rods are soft um, once you keep your hair um, tied and in a bonnet you should be fine so this hairstyle is very convenient it's very easy if you had even less time you could do even bigger sections and it would still work very well. So stay tuned for the takedown. 
To speed up the drying process, by all means, if you wanted to, you could use a blow dryer or if you have access to a bonnet dryer, then you could sit under the bonnet. However, I chose to air dry. This is, of course, a longer process, but it is the healthier way to go. And so since I am on a hair journey, I try to avoid heat as much as possible, especially if it is unnecessary heat. So I chose to air dry. But of course, do whatever works best for you. Thank you so much for watching by all means let me know what you think of this hairstyle if this is something that you have tried please let me know how you wear it one of the things i love so much about this type of protective style is that it is very versatile you can wear it down like i'm wearing it now as with a center part you can flip it from one side to the next to give it some versatility you can wear it up in a bun or pin it um flat twist the front and pin it up to preserve the life of the style so that it lasts a bit longer these are all options that you have especially when the hairstyle begins to get stale if you want to keep it in for as long as possible because remember we're protective styling so we're trying to limit the amount of manipulation on our hair so yeah these are my suggestions let me know what you think of how this style turned out thank you guys so much for your support i appreciate you more than i can say Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new here. I will see you in the next one.